Hey, what's good on team? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions, and here are three steps I am taking in 2023 in effort to invest in the real estate market. I hope that you guys learned something new and just a friendly reminder, if you take no action, you can't expect any new result. I swear, I'm gonna be sharing specific things that I use every single time when trying to flip a property or find a deal in the Arizona market. I understand that every market is either a little bit more challenging or a little bit easier. At the end of the day, you can make any excuse on why not to start or you can simply get started. So I really hope that you learned something new and let's go ahead and jump right to it. So the the first thing that I wanna talk about is obviously, you know, the concern that a lot of people have is with real estate kind of slowing down, we're not kind of, but definitely slowing down, especially after that COVID rally that we saw in 2020 and 2021, um, Rightfully so. I'm so grateful that markets have corrected themselves and let me explain why. Back then when you know markets were rallying, cash and or buyers were not really valued because there's a surplus of buyers, right? Because money was very cheap to borrow. Now it's the opposite. With interest rates being very high, it's very expensive to borrow money. It's honestly made it very unattractive for a lot of avid real estate investors. This is where we're thinning out the herd. This is where, where it's great for people like you and I. The really great thing about this is now buyers are actually valued as well. Let me give you let me give you an, as an exa- uh, let me give you an example. An example would be there is this property that I just purchased that was posted on market for over a hundred days, and this is something that we're going to talk about. This this property was posted for one point six million dollars. Now again, ignore the dollar amount because this can be done with any property. One point six million dollars. This, this dollar value, I mean, there were comps that supported the 1.6, 1.7. There was one at, even at 1.9, but there was no activity at 1.6 and it was posted for over 100 days. And there's so many properties like this where they're over 60 to 100 days. The seller is getting distressed, some more than others. And the, the whole focus is to find those that are getting distressed and you lowball them. I used to do this all the time with cars. Where how many times have you tried to purchase a car, you know, that was originally posted for, you know, $25,000, but the seller is actually willing to accept $17,000, right? It's, It's a huge like headline discretion because some buyers might feel so insecure of offering, right? something so far from the ask price, right? Uh, I've, I've been told this so many times before where we reach out to real estate agents and I lowball them, right? Rightfully so. And they're like, are you just trying to throw spaghetti on the wall and hope that it sticks? And I'm like, yes, exactly. That is exactly what I, I know that maybe out of like 20 properties that I've tried to offer, majority of them said no, but guess what? I only need one to say yes to find a deal. And guess what happened? The property was posted for 1.6. I got $400,000 off the ask. I just needed one person, one seller that was willing to offer their property below market value. Because I know if they put, would have posted their house for 1.2 million, it would have sold like that. It doesn't matter if interest rates are this high. People are still looking for deals. But right now there's a lack of effort in actually making offers. And this is where people like you and I come in. Now, let me explain the second thing, right? So the first step of take, you know, that I wanted to share with you guys is not being afraid to lowball properties that have been posted on market for a longer period of time. I normally try to target properties that have been posted for over 60 and over 90 days. Again, property has been posted for a while. They might try to give you uh, a reason on why it hasn't sold. At the end of the day, we all know why it hasn't sold and it's because Well, it's not worth that at the current market. And it it needs to be made very clear. You don't need to be hostile with the real estate agent. Obviously, they're just trying to make their commission. But again, it's trying to understand the seller's needs. And the more that you can relate and the more that you can build rapport, the more likely that you can close that deal. But it is a numbers game. Do not be afraid to shoot your shot. The second thing that I'm gonna be focusing on for 2023 Um, is the overall idea of, you know, not necessarily needing to actually purchase the property myself. I hear this all the time where, you know, people on Instagram or people on YouTube uh, that reach out to me and be like, Ricky, I, I, you know, I might have 10 or $20,000 to my name, but I, I can't afford to flip a property. How much money do you need, right? How much money do you need to flip a property or to buy a property? Guess what? What is the main focus in every market? A deal. 
Let me explain this and let me make this very clear between you and I. If you find me a deal, I'm just using myself as an example, and I know every investor in every state is like this. If your concern is you don't have the money, but you're good at finding deals, present it to someone that has money. It's not rocket science. You guys know firsthand, I've paid thousands, tens of thousands of dollars to people that follow me on Instagram and to people that follow me on YouTube that provide me a deal. I offer one of two things. I can either, I buy the property with cash myself, right? There's no lenders, nothing like that. If you present it to me, if it meets my criteria, if the margins make sense, I will purchase the property from you. I can offer you one of two things. I can either pay you a finder's fee, and I'm sure other investors would be more than happy to pay you a finder's fee. It could be a couple thousand dollars. You can set your own finder's fee and you can negotiate from there, right? It's an open market. The second thing is I can offer you a rev split. You don't need to put any dollar, any money, right? I will take care with my team, Nick Palladino. We'll, you know, just like we normally do, we'll acquire the property, pay for it cash to quick close. We'll begin the renovation process if we choose to flip it and whatever profit, net profit we make at the end, we can choose to split it with you, right? You can come to us with any rev split offer that you think that it's worth, right? Obviously, if the margins are less, we're probably going to offer you less when it comes down to net margins, uh, net percentage return, uh, but you just have to understand that. The excuse of I don't have money, if you have time and you're good at finding deals, or you wanna become good at finding deals, that is all you need. Let me be the person that you send deals to in the Arizona market. I'm gonna link it down below. I'm gonna uh, link Nick Palladino's Instagram. You can message me or you can message Nick Palladino. He's very active. He's probably more active than me. Send him a message of like, hey, I have a friend or family that's actually interested in selling their property cash and they need a quick close. Or I know someone that is willing to sell it below market value. Shoot your shot make your money, right? There's nothing wrong with that. The last thing that I want to talk about is actually the third step and it actually goes into transition with this. I can almost guarantee you that everyone, right? Either someone that follows you on social media, whatever social media platforms you have, a friend, a family or a neighbor is probably in the market to potentially sell their property. Why not allow them to receive a cash offer, right? Get connected with an investor. If you're in the Arizona market, I can be that investor for you. And start posting, right? Start posting, you know, market update, what the average interest rate is, build the exposure of what's going on right now with the real estate market and, and post. Be like, hey, if anyone's interested in selling their house, um, I have a cash buyer. It doesn't have to be you. It doesn't have to be your money. But if you facilitate the deal, you've earned a commission, right? You've earned your whatever percentage that you asked for or whatever finder's fee you asked for. People think that it's so complicated to get started in the real estate market. But again, it's, it's those that try and that actually put in the effort that actually make things happen. I'm excited. I, I want to follow up with this video, right? This is I'm making this video in 2022. I want to see how many people in 2023 I can flip a house with. I'll put up all the money. My team with Nick Palladino and um, the, the contractors will facilitate the entire renovation. Whatever profits we have, we'll split it. It's a win-win for everyone. You do not need the money to get started. Think about that, right? Imagine not needing money. You start getting paid without needing money. You gain experience. You understand what to do, what not to do. And then later down the road, you have enough money to be able to do them yourself. Is that not always the goal? Learn from someone, shadow them from what they're doing, get paid for it. And then on top of that, as you build experience and build confidence, you can later take on projects on your own. And again, I'm very excited, but this video can just be like any other video that you continue to watch and be like, okay, that sounds like a good idea, but do nothing about it. I can reassure you, you can read as many books as you want. You can um, follow as many people as you want, but if you take no action, I can guarantee you there won't be any result, right? The, the time is now. So again, if you wanna connect, make sure you subscribe to me here on YouTube, but most importantly, send a direct message right now to my business partner, Nick Palladium. It's gonna be the first link down below or send me a direct message via Instagram and that's that second link down below. You have to reach out. You know, if you have anyone that's interested, just don't be afraid to post, to reach out, to ask those, yeah, difficult questions, but remember, you're a deal hunter. You're here to find deals. You're here to close deals. You're here to make deals happen.
There's nothing wrong with that, right? Especially during tough times. Yeah, it's gonna be maybe a little bit more challenging on average, but guess what? If you can do well during these tough times, then when the market recovers in, in being bullish, then it's gonna be a walk in the park or at least much easier than what it is now. And I think that's a great approach to have in current with current market conditions. So I appreciate your time. Hope that we're under thumbs up. Let's stay connected. Make sure you guys shoot us a direct message via Instagram. All of that is linked down below. Um, and I'm excited to kick off the new year with um, you know, our real estate team. So like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.